All right, Fig. Let's, uh, let's talk a little bit of the New York football Johnny. Let's here. do it. Talking about the uh, world champion. New I'm York fired champion. up. Fired up? Why, why wouldn't you be? Why wouldn't you be? Uh, your season's over now, so we're, we're kind of in. Don't snap. No, okay. You're right. It's not over. All right. <laughs> Fine. It, it goes 24 7 here. You know, Coughlin's working right now, yeah. regardless of where he is. Okay. And uh, but, but we got some personnel changes that are probably going to happen from the Giants. Every, side every team does. It's the, it's the story of the NFL. Yeah, when it's, it's a salary cap, don't. hard salary cap environment like the NFL, I mean, you're, you're very limited. When you have breakout players that want more money, um, kind of like our Mario Manningham, who's one guy who's a free agent this year. Yep. So we, we put up a quick list of four guys here. Yep. Uh, who are we're Giants this year, we're world champions, okay? Yeah. Who may or may not be with the team next year due to a couple of reasons. Yeah. But let's take them one by one. Yeah, okay? some, some of the bigger names. And then uh, we'll, we'll take we'll discuss their topic real quick one by one and then decide whether or not they're going to be with the Giants. That's what these markers are for at the uh, beginning of next season. That's because there are other names, but we're going to just discuss the main four that we see. We're going to take big four. Okay, okay. so let's start number one OCU Manure. O.C. Rendura, he had an injury this year, right? Mm -hmm. Going into the season, he had a contract dispute, um, and then got his knee scoped, missed the first few games, only played nine games. For those nine games, recorded nine sacks. That's big, big so performance. So he's not a free agent, right? Okay, but he is. He's uh, he's got one year and four million left on the contract. Does he come back? I say yes. You're gonna say yes. yes. Okay, I, I'm I'm gonna hate to do this. Yeah. I'm gonna say he's a he's a no. Which Next for me, yeah. um, not because I don't want him. He had a big, big postseason and a big Super Bowl. I just don't think the Giants are going to have the money to step up and pay him. And I really think, see, the thing was last year he made I think it was seven and a half million dollars last year. But his final year of his contract, the way it's written, there's only four million bucks for him to make this year. And there's if he was he he had a problem playing for seven million. There's no way in hell he's going to play for four million. He's already been quoted that his approach this year though is going to be less public and going to be more behind the scenes. Even if he comes out and gives us nine games for nine sacks, it's still worth the four million. I think Jerry Reese and the team are, are kind of doing the numbers crunching and saying, let's say OC springs a, a last minute surgery on us, we can still afford to pay. I, I think that that's true. And I mean, if, if you wanted to tell me we get nine games out of OC for four million plus the playoffs, done. I'll sign up for that, no problem. I just don't think he's going to do that. I think he's going to want a guarantee of eight to ten million dollars this year. From somebody who I think is going to probably pay him. So he'll sit out. So no, I think I think they have enough time be. now. They have enough time to, to build an actual trade around him. Where the Giants might not get what they okay. want, yeah. but uh, I think he'll play enough of an, of an issue. Where you know we know how last year was. Yeah. Right? By the time the, the contract was signed or the um, you know, labor agreement was signed, training camp started like two weeks later. It was it was everything happened so fast. There was no time for a deal to come into play. Now they got the whole off season, and uh, I think I hate to see it, but I think OC is going to move somewhere else. Okay. Uh, Chase Blackburn. Chase Blackburn, my guy. I, I, love, I love Chase Blackburn. You know that scrappy guy, big special teamers, and uh, scrappy. Scrappy. Yeah. Yep. Came back, started the last couple games of the season, had a big playoffs, good postseason, and uh, including the Super Bowl uh, off uh, Tom Brady in the, in the or excuse me, interception off Tom Brady in the Super Bowl. And the reason he's kind of a doubter is he actually was not on the team for about eighty percent of the season. Yeah. They brought him in what, was it week twelve or week thirteen yeah. when they had some injuries that. At linebacker, so he's going to be once again, uh, you know, nice under the contract. I mean, he's off the team technically right now. And um, will somebody else sign him due to the solid kind of playoffs he had last year? Can we bring him back? Uh, I'll, I'll let you take this one real quick. Then, yes or no? Uh, Chase, I think is not coming back because I think uh, I think Chase is a fringe player. Mm -hmm. I think he's an energy guy. I think he's one of the types of players that people will rally around. That was a great interception, right? Uh, covering a wounded duck throw and a wounded duck uh, player <laughs> yeah. out to the post. I think he's a fringe guy, and I'll say no. Although if he does come back, it'll be on one of those uh, right before week one we sign him because no one else picked him up. But I do think the reason why I say no is I do think on the strength of his Super Bowl performance and his playoff run, he will get signed for a an actual contract, like a two year, one point one million dollar contract okay. somewhere else, like Kansas City. Yeah, you know, that, that's kind of what I'm leaning, but just, just to, you know, play devil's advocate, I'm going to say yes. I'm going to say yeah. he's coming back. Okay. And I'll give a couple of reasons why I can think, see that happen. Yeah. Is obviously we need help at middle linebacker. Or are we going to draft a big-time middle linebacker this year? Tough to say when you have the last pick in the first round of the yeah. draft. And Don't rookies, get a marquee player. And rookies, are, it's always tough to count on a rookie first it, season. Exactly. Especially, you know, there's certain positions where you can put a rookie in. Like, you know, a deep-out wide receiver, you can put a rookie in there, and anybody can do it. 
middle linebacker, the guy, you know, anchoring your defense, you don't necessarily want a rookie in there. So, you know, and plus his special teams, plus everything that you said about him being an energetic team leader yeah, and a clubhouse yeah. kind of guy, why not bring him back? No, on I agree with that. My only point is that he would get a guaranteed deal from another team. Uh, that could be a problem for us. Yeah. But I'm just going to say, under those circumstances, he, he's won now two, I believe it's two championships with New York. I think he was on the other team. I could uh, be wrong, though. But he wasn't a big player, because that was the key and uh, and... Uh, I think he might have been on the team though. Right, but well, it wasn't he wasn't a big player. Regardless, two championships with one team makes you want to come back and keep coming there. Lawrence Tyne's got two titles. <laughs> Good for him. Good for him. So moving on. Cool. Uh, Super Bowl star, Mario Manningham. Yeah. Uh, you know, a guy who if you would ask us this question two days before the Super Bowl, we would have said, okay, let him go. You know, we got enough at wide receiver. But this guy is an official free agent. So he played through his contract. He's played pretty well. Only 25 I would say. Years old. Young guy, you know, came out. I believe he came out early out of Michigan. Yeah, he, a year early. So, um, so he is a young guy, and obviously coming off one of the biggest catches in Super Bowl history. Second greatest ever. Second greatest ever to the. Uh, right. Which we're going to take the Lin Swan catch, or are you going to go for the or, or the Tyree catch, Almost. the double miracle. Yeah, David Tyree helmet. The Tyree helmet catch, helmet catch right yeah. there. Um, I, I just I remember as a kid, I was watching the Super Bowl recap, seeing that Lin Swan like flying through the air. Third best catch in Super Bowl history. There we go. Third best catch. So, uh, but Manningham is official free agent. Let's get back to that. Giants have two superstar wide receivers. Yep. Do we invest a little bit of money in keeping a third, or does he sign somewhere else on a three-year, right. $12 million deal? That, and that's the caveat I'm giving with all of these, are are, are they going to get signed away? If you remember, um, I'm forgetting his name, that wasn't Kiwanuka, but we had another linebacker signed by Kansas City after Super Bowl 42. Where would we have loved to have him back? Of course. Yeah. He was he, forgetting his name, but he was the guy that had a sack on Brady linebacker when he faked like he was going in coverage. The Red Seas party came in and, and, uh, and hammered for the sack. John I'm blanking on the name. Yeah. So anyway, uh, travel tattoo. Anyway, so Manningham, do I want him back? Yes. The economics, I do think that he's going to get a, a, a big offer, possibly a three-year, maybe a nice guaranteed bonus from another mm-hmm. team. And with Dominique Hickson coming back off of injured reserve, uh, Dominique Hickson was an up-and-comer yep. uh, prior to getting hurt this season. It was he and Manningham that were, and, and Nick, that were supposed to be the three guys. Right. I do think Manningham will get a good offer, and I think we may lose him. Yeah, I mean, pretty much what you said is exactly what I'm thinking here, so I'm going to give this one an X. Um, Okay. Man, he'll get he'll get more money than we're going to yeah, right. give because we don't need to give him that much. Money. And God bless him. We'll go get some money. Exactly. And just I wanted to talk about the Hickson thing again. Hickson's good for us because he plays special teams. He's a returner. Yeah. If you guys watch the Giants, you know every time we received a, a, a punt or a kickoff, there was no way that that Blackman guy was going to return the kick. You know we just knew that nothing was going to happen there. At least with Hickson back there, there's some danger. Hopefully he stays healthy. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So final guy. Brandon Jacobs, he's under contract for, I want to say, about $4 bucks next year, but he's no longer the featured back. He had only just a couple hundred yards rushing this year, really not much. Had a solid Super Bowl and a pretty decent playoffs, but uh, you know, I think as a financial move, the Giants are probably going to cut him in without a, without a major restructuring. He'll be playing somewhere else. What do you think? So you got an X right there? Well, I mean, this for me, this is done. This is, this is the biggest X I can make. He's a... Uh, I mean, Giants might, just to, to finish off my part, they might cut him and say, Jacobs, we'll bring you back for half your salary, $2 million, maybe even less than that, one and a half. Um, and, you know, but somebody else is going to invest at least a few bucks in him. Yeah, because he was crapping about playing time. Yeah. Crapping about playing time the whole season. Uh, then the Giants made a good run. They got Bradshaw back, and they got their, they got their, 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 uh, their running game back in the last sort of two games of the regular season. Yeah. And then go into the playoffs. So I'll, I'll agree with you. Uh, the one thing I'm again I'm, I'm, I'm drawing a blank on that with Manningham. I know we're kind of going over on our on our, uh, our, our coverage here. Yeah. Is uh, is the Giants have and I'm forgetting the dude's name in waiting a monster six foot six wide receiver that was drafted not last season but perhaps the season prior. And his last name starts with a B. I'm blanking. Are you thinking of Ramsey's Barton? Ramsey's Barton. Right? <laughs> right, right, right. Ramsey's you Barton. Know what? When you're a big Giants fan, you remember right. his names. Uh, Ramsey's Barton. I, I, I've seen him. He had a couple of catches. This no, no, season. no. But, but, but he's he's a project. But he's a beast. He's a little. I, I see like the offensive equivalent of a Jason Pierre-Paul, who last season was 